Good morning, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron and I'm here to show you this 2014 14 plate Audi A3 2 litre TDI Sport convertible finished off in metallic silver. So, first things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle and then when we get back to the start of the video, uh, we're going to show you the vehicle once again but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi specialist workshop and give you a very clear and true picture of the condition of the car. Now we're back around to the start. We're going to start looking over the vehicle from the near side front to the near side rear. The near side front wing looks in good condition. Near side front door looks in good condition. Near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy, good condition alloy with a couple of little marks around the outer edge. And the near side front tyre is a Dunlop on approximately six or seven millimetres of tread. Moving down the near side now to the near side rear alloy. As you can see, another really nice condition alloy. And this near side rear tire, we've got a Pirelli on approximately four or five millimetres of tread. Looking back down the near side of the vehicle now, near side rear quarter looks good, near side door looks good, and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the vehicle, Checking out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. All look in really nice condition. Small mark there on the loading area. But nothing else really to note. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition. Even along the top of the tailgate there as well. Looking back down the offside of the vehicle now from rear to front. Offside rear quarter looks in good condition. Offside door looks in good condition, just one very small pin dent above the swage line that will be professionally removed prior to sale. And the offside front wing looks good as well. Offside rear alloy, really nice condition. And we've got another Pirelli on this axle uh, with approximately four or five millimeters of tread. Moving down the offside of the vehicle now to the offside front alloy, good condition alloy again. And we've got another Dunlop, so we've got matching axles on a good six or seven millimeters of tread. Looking back down the offside of the vehicle now, making sure we haven't missed anything. Offside front wing looks good. Offside front door looks good. Just that one pin dent we mentioned before right at the top. And the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the vehicle now. So we're checking out the front bumper itself and all lights and grills. All looks in really good condition. A couple of very small stone chip marks as to be expected that will be polished up and touched in prior to sale of the vehicle. Checking out the condition of the bonnet now as well. Bonnet looks really good for the age and mileage of the car. Again, as to be expected, a couple of very small marks that you probably can't even see on the camera along the front of the bonnet that will be polished up and touched in with the Audi Correct Touch-Up paint prior to sale. Checking out the condition of the windscreen now. Looks in really good condition. Um, just surface marks here on the driver's side. We have got two very small chips right at the bottom there that look to have been previously repaired and will not be effect of in effect on an MOT at all. So the front windscreen is in good condition. Moving around to the rear, we're going to start making our way through the interior. I'll give you a look at the boot. If I can get the sun to stop glaring. Decent sized boot for a, a convertible vehicle. This does fold up um, when the roof is not in use. So you get a little bit more space. Um, as you can see, I can, I'll get closer and I'll zoom out so we're not getting the sun glare. Carpets are all in really nice condition. Now we're going to make our way through the inside of the car. As you can see, door cards in really nice condition. Full, or in fact it's, yes it is full leather. Sport interior in really nice condition. And the same goes for the rear. As you can see in the rear, we've got two factory headrests, two three-point seat belts, and ice fix fittings to both rear seats. No signs of any excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no trace of any odors, no cigarette burns or anything like that. Same goes for the passenger seat, really nice condition. No signs of any plastic repairs or dash repairs at all. Really nice condition interior. We've got full electric windows with uh, power folding, electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors. Automatic lights and wipers in this vehicle. Cruise control on the stalk underneath the indicators. Electronic parking brake and the control for the roof, which I'll run you through in a moment. 
all your MMI controls, a six speed manual transmission, dual climate control, uh, air conditioning and front heated seats, stop start, traction control, Audi drive select, and the screen is electronic and folds away at the touch of a button. Now in the MMI, we've got DAB, FM and AM radio, Bluetooth media, um, audio streaming and telephone connectivity and a couple of other options. Uh, satellite navigation is not enabled on this vehicle. Finished off with this uh, leather bound multifunction steering wheel and this car is on 89,109 miles. But before I let you go, I'm gonna run through the roof operation and show you how fast it is. And then I'll jump back out and let you see the car with the roof up before I end the video. Really fast, slick operation on these Audi convertible roofs. And that is it. So, just gonna jump out and end the video with a view of the car with the roof down and show you the condition of the roof. Really nice condition, soft top roof as well. Almost looks new. Right, well thank you very much for watching this video if you would like to give us a call on 01724 if you're interested in our vehicles and we'll get you booked in for a viewing thank you very much for watching